Oh, here comes Darcy. What have we got? We heard the scream at just past 2300 hours and ran towards the direction of the commotion. This homeless man, ma'am, ran into me from the direction of the crime. He hasn't said anything as such, but we kept him with us as he could be a potential suspect. Right. You two. Take him back to the station and lock him up for now. Then we'll see what we've got on CCTV. We're arresting him. Well, what do you think? This is obviously a scrap between a couple of tramps that's got out of hand. Nothing we should be wasting our time on, especially on the likes of him. So get a move on. And dare to question me again, and you won't make it out of probation. Thank you, Jonathan. Yes, I was at the Olympic Stadium today where preparations for the opening ceremonies are well underway. And it has also been confirmed that closing the opening ceremonies, we shall have a performance from Sir Paul McCartney. It was confirmed today on Radio 5 that he has been booked to close the ceremony. In a moment, you're going to see my exclusive interview with him today talking about the expectations of the performance. But first, I'm going to tell you a bit more about what is to be expected. Over 15,000 people have been booked as the cast for the opening ceremonies, and statements on social networks such as Twitter and Facebook are already highlighting the expectations. Sam Bradley in Wolverhampton says he hopes to see Paul McCartney's Union Jack bass guitar again, what he saw in the Diamond Jubilee. He said it was well cool, and I think I'd have to agree with Sam on that one. I'll now go over to my interview with Sir Paul McCartney. <laughs> 